not going to We breathe the hand coming from the valve. We breathe the hand six hundred dollars a month. These children go to work with me every day. I break my schedule to pick my son up from school and then we can't that's what I So when you broke up, did he say he was going to give you six hundred dollars? He said he would be six hundred dollars a month and that was in September. That was September. He did leave me a check when he moved out for the month of October. In November, I went to cash this check here and he put a stop payment on it. Why? Uh, I don't recall, but she but I did write her it. another check, and I do have proof that that check did clear. But he didn't pay in December. He didn't know if he didn't pay in December. And in December is when you sold the ring. Yes, ma'am. How much did you get to the ring? $2,000. Who did you sell it to? I don't even know who it was. It was a Facebook page. I deleted it in fear that he would see it. Tell me about the transaction. We met. I gave him the paperwork for the ring, verifying what it was, and they gave me $2,000 cash. How did you got to the ring? Two thousand dollars. Now, did you pay any money in January? Oh yeah. Six hundred for December and six hundred for January. That's twelve. What about in February? Oh yeah. The case is dismissed, Mr. Murphy. That's all. Time to claim too. We can't get a grasp of the relationship. It's over. She's a ring collector. She's been engaged. Six times. Because I found out he had been cheating. Been married three times. He just got a broken heart. I mean, that's true. And I hope that he I'm not catch up with her. realizes he is not always right. And now for the next case. All parties in the matter of Merritt versus Kaminsky step forward. Brooklyn Merritt is suing her former mentor, 24 year old Cameron Siminski, for dental bills after she tricked in Cameron's home and knocked out her teeth. Ms. Merritt, you are the tenant of the defendant for a period of time. It is your claim that during your tenancy, the defendant formed, in other words, became a hoarder. Hoarder of furniture and all kinds of junk, the sort of stuff that she would leave inside, outside. And at one point at the end of your tenancy, you came home one evening, the lights were out outside, and you tripped over something, fell, and damaged your teeth. You want her to be responsible for that. Ms. Siminski says you fell because you were drunk. She doesn't know what you fell over. She has no clue as to what you fell over, but she's certainly not responsible. So, you moved in when? I moved in March of 2014. And you moved out when? October 16th, 2014. Did you have a lease with her? I had a six month lease and then month to month afterwards. What prompted you to move out? There was a lot of chaos going on in the house after I broke my teeth. And for a couple of weeks before then, there had been the cops coming in the house every other weekend concerning Cameron. You know, there was a lot of fights between her and her family, and the house pretty much just became unmanageable. Who lived in the house? Um, it was her mother, her, and her brother. And then the other roommate moved out due to the, the, the 